Today we keep exploring Kachang, visiting the most popular beaches of the island. In the mid-90s, Kachang was beginning to get on the map for adventurous backpackers. They congregated on a small, almost deserted Coconut Line Bay, with a beautiful sandy beach that could only be reached by boat or by following the trail over the hill. Nowadays, lonely beach is steadily moving away from its low-budget image. Increasingly, the old cheap boat fan huts are being torn down and replaced with air-conditioned bungalows, but luxuries such as hot water, Wi-Fi and a bed that won't damage your spine. Lonely Beach is still not overrun with people. The sand is soft and the water is clear and warm. It is easy to find quieter parts of the beach with nobody around, and the busier parts are filled with the sounds of reggae from the nearby beach bars. White Sand Beach is the next one we are going to explore, but on the way I would like to take you to a colorful Chinese temple, a sacred Syrian place on the island. Chao Pokachan Shrine is one of the island's oldest and most respected spiritual sites, which embodies the guardian spirit of the Kachan community, and in particular its fishermen as they set out to sea. It's so highly revered by islanders that they have an island-wide yearly procession to protect and honor the guardian spirit who is considered the godfather of Kachang. White Sand Beach is Kachang's northernmost beach, has become the island's most popular resort. Therefore, the beach is among one of the busiest and tourist places on Kachang. There are many all sorts of accommodation here, so romantic honeymooners love celebrating their weddings and anniversaries in the beach resorts. The beach itself has a strip of powdery white sand around 3 kilometers long and it takes only 10-15 minutes to drive from the ferry piers. The beach narrow at high tide has many shady spots and slopes gently into the sea. White sand was the first beach on Kachan to experience tourist development. There is an easy transfer from Bangkok to Kachan and consequently has the highest concentrations of hotels, restaurants, shops and other such facilities on the island. But this certainly doesn't mean that the beach is overdeveloped. To be fair, even White Sand Beach has a long way to go before development reaches the extreme scene on Samui Phuket or Pattaya. If you're used to holiday in there, it may seem a sleepy backwater in which to spend a week or two.
you enjoy watching my videos, I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to get updated of the new releases.